Good morning guys. So today I just got to school, it's about five to seven in the morning and we're going to be talking about what kind of things a teacher does in the morning because that's one of the first things that I kind of had to get the grips with when I became a teacher was just all the different jobs you have to do in the morning, the types of things we've got to get sorted and how that kind of happens. So I'm going to kind of run you through what I'm doing today and I'll show you what I'm doing, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and kind of how long things take so you know the kind of time you need to get prepped in the morning. So thinking about kind of commuting times, that kind of thing, because it's something important, something you need to know. And if you don't do it, you quickly get behind in the morning and you're rushing around chasing your tail. So yeah, hopefully this will be helpful and you get to see a bit of my classroom and a bit of what I do. So we sat down at my desk and the first thing I need to do is I need to get my computer turned on. I need to get it all kind of set up and ready for the day. I need to go and find my lessons I'm going to be teaching today, which I pre-planned already. I plan everything a week in advance at the minute. So today I'm going to be planning what I'm doing Tuesday next week. Um, but I obviously Tuesday last week I plan what I'm doing today, so I'm going to go get that up and remind myself what I'm doing. I get all my resources ready last night, so they're all on the table there, I'll show you them in a minute. And then we're kind of ready for the day. Okay, so it's just a few minutes later and I've got the computer up, so I'm just going to show you quickly what types of things we're going to be doing today. And I'll run you through why we're kind of showing you that, why I'm doing that. and what kind of thing I'm hoping to achieve from doing it. This morning we are planning our version of the poem Sing a Song of Yorkshire, so I'll call it Class 5 Edition, and we're going to be planning that today. So we're going to be talking about different rhyming patterns, we're going to be talking about different ways to describe. We're going to be looking at expanding our phrases and getting those adjectives and adverbs in there, and generally trying to make a really nice poem all about Yorkshire, where we're all from up here. So we're going to be doing that this morning. So I've gone through, I kind of planned up, we've got our planning grid there and got some kind of hints and tips on how to help them. And we'll go through that all together and start doing it a bit guided for the first couple of verses and then on their own independently for the next few. In maths, we're going to be drawing some 2D shapes. So we missed off this lesson during lockdown because obviously it's quite a hard one to do. So today they're going to get some different grids. They're going to get isometric paper and they're going to get dotted paper. I'll show you those resources I've got ready in a sec. And they're going to be having a go at drawing all these different shapes on those isometric and dotted pieces of paper, seeing which ones are best to use for what lessons. So that is English and Maths for this morning. We've also got things like grammar and read, writing, spelling, and some reading that we do, but I don't really make slides for those because they're quite interactive and talking lessons. And then this afternoon, the chart class have got a PE all afternoon, so that's where our PE teacher takes them for PE. I think they're doing dance today. And I will be in the class doing some intervention groups and helping a few of the children that really need a bit of boosting now they've come back to school. And it might be helping them to get where they need to be, help with pushing them on even further. But that's what I'll be doing this afternoon during PE. So it's now been just over 10 minutes since I first walked into the classroom this morning. And you might be thinking, well, it's only taking about 10 minutes and it looks like he's ready for the day. So I need to now make sure that all the resources I've got ready are all in order. And then I need to start thinking about some other things. We've got an art week that we're doing. So I need to make sure I've got my resources ready for that and get that sorted this morning. I need to get some interventions planned. So I need to print off the resources for those from our assessments that we did and make sure they're all in order and ready to go. Make sure the groupings are all set. And then a few other bits and pieces that I need to do. So I'll kind of take you through them as I do them this morning. So this morning, the resources we've got, we've got, they all got a copy of this poem yesterday. So that's already in their portfolios. But this is the poem we're looking at and we're going to create our own version of Sing a Song of Yorkshire by Dorian Brigham. So today they've got a planning grid and that's what they use every time we do some planning. So they're going to plan their poem on that with the different verses in each box. Again, this, the, the number of verses the children are going to be doing depends on kind of what I want them from. Some might only do two or three verses, some might do all six, some might do even more. Then we've got boxes for good vocabulary, features of the poem that we went through yesterday that they can fit in today. And then why they're writing it to the audience and the purpose of that poem. And then, as I showed you, for maths, we've got some square dotted paper and some isometric dotted paper. These are going in their maths portfolios, and this is what they're going to use to draw their shapes on today. So I'm going to make sure I've got all the rulers ready, make sure everyone's got sharp pencils, and that's all prepared, which hopefully they will do already, as obviously we had lessons yesterday. But you never know, in a school, they go missing very quickly. So this is a giant picture of Roach Abbey, which is a nearby us in Yorkshire. And we are going to be using this and we're going to be creating a class art piece due to this for the picture this campaign. And this is going to end up going on a wall display over by my desk, which I'll show you in a minute. But I need to now, I've got all the pictures printed out nice and big and get the children to kind of do one of these each. But obviously they can't draw straight onto the picture because it's inky, it's all printed paper. So I'm going to have a go at tracing each picture onto an A3 piece and numbering them and then they'll be ready for the children to then either paint or chalk and do some kind of mixed media collage. That's the plan anyway, so let's see how it goes. 
and eventually it's going to replace this book flicks display because we've had this up for quite a while now and it's getting a bit old the children aren't really that interested anymore they loved it at the start and they all try to find the books that i put up each week or every now and then each term for them to have a look at but at the minute it's not really that interesting anymore so i'm going to try and replace it with that big art display by the kids So I'm about halfway through at the minute. You can see all we're doing is just tracing each one of these, just a light trace over it. If I show you one, so underneath looks like that. Then I'm going to pick different kids to do different pieces where they can use some mixed media. So we'll get some chalk, some watercolour, some paint, acrylic paint. Uh, we can use some oil pastels and they can have a go at creating their own version of what is underneath each picture. So hopefully it'll go to good do well just a few more at the top two and those over there but most of these are just kind of sky so it shouldn't be too hard to do it should be nice and quick so you might be thinking one sec you were in your peak kit a few minutes ago and now all of a sudden you're in a suit and you're looking like you just got to school again and that's because i am today is now wednesday it's the next day and the basically the morning kind of it just the day the mornings go so quick the days go so quick as a teacher i finished off doing that picture this artwork at about at about half an hour to go before the kids arrived and I was talking to members of staff, I was getting a few other jobs, I was tidying up at the classroom, getting some interventions ready. And the time just goes so fast and I just didn't have time to stop, pick up my phone and talk to you guys because I had to get what I had to get done. And as I always say, I am a teacher first and foremost. I love helping you guys, but frankly, there's some days where I just can't have to get on. So I got those bits done, I got those ready and then the kids were ready to come in. They came in and we got the day going. So I'm now here, it's the next day, it's just gone seven o'clock and I'm ready to kind of get going with the next day so I'm going to start with the same sort of things so that my computer and all that but I'm not going to show you that again so I'm going to leave this video here for you guys today but thank you very much for watching I hope it's been helpful and as always a new video Tuesday and a Friday at five o'clock to kind of show you what my life is like and hopefully this helps so anyway I'll see you then bye